I'm Kimmy, also known as Golden Lasso Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to etch and mark into actual metal pieces. When I posted my tutorial about how to make metal cosplay pieces, a lot of people reached out to me asking how I got the white lines, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. The first thing you're going to need is a 9 volt battery, low voltage wire with alligator clips at both ends, your metal piece, a glass of salt water, a few tablespoons of table salt is enough. Q-tips, make sure there's a lot. Electrical tape. A respirator. This project makes some toxic gases that you do not want to breathe in. You want to start the process by stenciling out the shape you want on the metal. You want all the boundaries of your shape marked off. I've just done a straight line here with my electrical tape. Um, you can do curves pretty well with electrical tape, especially if you're doing something like my Wonder Woman chest piece. If you're doing anything super detailed, you might want to use some nail polish to do the fine details in addition to the electrical tape, or you might want to get a vinyl sticker created to work as an outline, especially if you're going to do the same shape many, many times and you want them to be exact. That's always a great route to go, and it's not super expensive. Once you have your design all laid out in your metal, you want to attach one end of your alligator clips to your 9 volt battery. Make sure you know which ones are attached to the positive and the negative signs of the battery. I'm attaching my red wire to the positive side and my white wire to the negative side. Now you're not gonna get shocked using a nine volt battery, which is one of the great things about this tutorial. However, it does create some gas in the air that is not safe to breathe. So before you actually start working on your piece, you should always wear a respirator when you're doing this. Once you have your respirator on, you're going to take the grounding wire, which is the one connected to the negative side of the battery and just clip it anywhere to your piece of metal. Be careful not to put it in a real obvious place because the clips from the alligator sometimes do leave slight marks in the metal, especially if you're using a soft metal like aluminum. The next thing you're gonna do is grab one of your Q-tips. You're gonna dip one end of it into your salt water and then you're going to clip the positive alligator head, which is my red wire, to the wet end of the Q-tip. Make sure it's in the water. If you clip it to a dry part of the Q-tip, this will not work. And then you're just going to go ahead and rub it along. You want to make sure that your electrical tape or your nail polish or whatever else you have there, your vinyl sticker, is completely sealed to your metal. There's a little bit of a fizzing happening. If this chemical reaction isn't happening, you might want to check the composition of your metal or see if there's some sort of coating on it. You might want to use rubbing alcohol or some light sanding to get through the protective coat. You also can tell it's working because you'll get crazy rust colors on your Q-tips. So these are examples that I finished earlier so you could kind of see how it looks finished. This one, I deliberately didn't seal the electrical tape all the way so you can see how it kind of gets like smeared looking and the lines aren't clean. This one I did a much better job on. And those are both aluminum pieces. And you can also see, this is what it really looks like finished on the cosplay piece. Just gives a metal looking kind of subtle line that isn't just painted or drawn on. So that's my tutorial on etching metal. Thanks for coming to my workshop. I hope to see you again soon.